for Deputy Chief Officer Lenny Harper, the senior officer in the Hort de la Garonne abuse inquiry, are back, backing victims' calls when outside force to investigate allegations that Sir Jimmy Savile and others, including some celebrities, regularly sexually abused ch children on Jersey. The shocking revelations of Savile's depraved behaviour have, to the relief of the Jersey abuse victims, refocused attention on the Hort de la Grande. In their view, it confirms that their claims that their, the home was at the heart of a well protected paedophile ring. Allegations against Savile and other famous powerful people were made during the 2008 inquiry. Earlier this week, the Telegraph revealed that another alleged abuser was the actor Wilfred Bramble, the dirty old man of Stepton Sun fame. <laughs> One of two boys whom he, he boys who him abused in back room at Jersey Opera House in the 70s from Hort de la Grande. Okay, like I said, this is this has been going on for a long time. Okay, it's been covered up for a long time. Police have been involved. They know about it. They covered it up. Okay, that's what happens when you when you got power, man. Okay, you get you got friends in higher places, man. You make friends in higher places. You get you're able to get away with shit. Cause these fucking police, top police, well, all these police, they're masons, man. Okay, he would have been a mason. You know, he does it with, 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 with that fucking witchcraft, man. You know, cold, cold, cold in covenants and shit, man. Right, what else has he got in here? Mm, okay, so we know now from court cases and statements made to my team during the 2008 inquiry that children in Jersey care homes were loaned out to members of the yachting fraternity and other prominent citizens on the pretense of recreational trips, but during which they were savagely abused and often raped. Okay, this, this is that, talking about that uh, stuff that we brought up, man. When children, when these children were complained, they were beaten and locked in cellars at Hort de la Grande, which the Jersey authorities denied existed in 2008, but which can still be seen on YouTube footage. Which chance did they? What chance did they have? This would have been the perfect hunting ground for Savile, the great and good of Jersey fawn over anyone with even those connections to British royalty. Okay, the royal family, so called. Okay. Savile would have been a VIP to them and children would not have stood a dog's chance of him complaining about him. It would have been so easy for him, which it has been. <laughs> the dig at the home was discredited, supposedly having found nothing, but even Harper's critical successes in the, invest in the investigation admit that at least three human bone fragments were found and children's teeth from between 10 and 65 children of all ages. These have never been adequately explained, Harper says. They were not from a long ago cemetery or, or all animal bones, but the bones proved impossible to date. One anthropologist said that they were a couple of decades old, but another said they could not be dated. We will never know. They were definitely human and juvenile. Okay, so like I said, man, these, these devils, man, they're, they're on every side, man. Okay, let's get some more scriptures. It's Proverbs 19, 4. Wealth maketh many friends, but the poor is separated from his neighbor. Okay, when, when you're wealthy, okay, when you have power, you make many friends, man. Like I said, you know, Jimmy had friends in high places, man. Okay, all these celebrities have got friends in high places. 
And that's how they get away with the shit they, 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 they get away with, man. Okay? The more powerful you are, the more you can get away with, man. So if you, you, you think this is what Jimmy was doing, man, imagine what these, these heads of state are doing, man. So-called kings and princes and the dukes and shit. Okay? Because they're more depraved than Jimmy, man. Okay, they were more into blood sacrifices and, and child molestation and all that more than Jimmy, man. Jimmy's lower than them in this thing. Okay, in this in this fucking sex cult, this witch cult, man. Okay, he's lower level compared to them. So imagine what else is going on, man. More shit that even a paper could could tell you, man. Okay. More than it will ever come out for the time being. This is Micah chapter 6. Because this is whole society is depraved, man, and you don't really see it for the piece of shit that it is, man. Everything in this in this world is fucked up. And it all needs to be fucking destroyed, man. Along with the people in it. So see, for the rich men thereof are full of violence, and the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies, and their tongue is deceitful in their mouth. Okay, they're all a bunch of devils, man. They're all a bunch of liars, man. Okay. Okay, the like I said, really the focus is on you know you, you, you rich crackers, man, because you got the power and the means to do things. Okay, these these fucking peon Edomites, man, they don't get to do shit. They get to do basic witchcraft and shit, man. Having sex with men and and you know your low level pedophiles and shit like that, man. You want you want a whole you want you you're like a uh, fucking corporate company of fucking witches and just do fucking madness around the globe, man. And you're like a club a club gummer. okay, of fucking witches and demons, man. This is Sirach chapter 10 verse 2. It says, As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of, of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. Okay, so basically, you know, the ruler is the benchmark, man, in a city. Okay? If, if, you're, if your ruler is fucking corrupt, is a fucking damn demon, man, so are the people that are under him, man, that he governs over. Okay, because they they got nothing to to compare themselves to, man. You know. So, like like I said, man, the Queen's juicing the all this, man. She's the head of state. Okay, or or you know, Evelyn Rothschild, man, because he really owns the country. Okay, he's he's the real king in in, in all of this, man. He's a damn fucking devil. Okay, he do all kind of mad shit like that more than anybody else. That's why he's the top guy, you know. But everybody under him are the same to lesser degrees, but they're the same, man. They're all fucking devils. They're all demons, man. Wicked demons. Okay. So Proverbs twenty nine and two. So when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear a fool, the people mourn. Okay, this this is a, is a fucking big deal, man. All this all this information that's coming out now, man, is fucking uh, disgusting, man. And people don't like to hear it. Okay, you got wicked people in rule, man. Wicked things happen. Okay, the only difference is most of the time it's covered up. You don't hear about it. Okay, when when the righteous are ruling, man, everything's blessed, man. Everything's good. Okay, when you got wicked rulers, man, all all that goes on in your system is wickedness, man. Okay, whether you see it or not, you know, 
you know, isn't the point. It, it goes on. Okay, most people just turn a blind eye to it though and think everything's alright. No. Okay. This is verse 16. When the wicked are multiplied, transgression increaseth. The righteous shall see their fault. Okay, like I said, since the white man's been in rule, man, nothing but wickedness has increased on this earth, man. Transgression. Okay, and it, it, it just gets progressively worse and worse. Okay, that, but, you know, the moral side is bringing a destruction to this, to this system, okay, to these people. So the righteous, you know, shall see their fall. And that's what we, we pray for, that's what we hope for, man. This is Psalm 7 and 9. And it reads here, Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just for the righteous of righteous God trieth the hearts and reigns. Okay? That's what you pray for, man. Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Okay, let this let them be destroyed, basically. Bring them down. Okay, and they're being brought down, man. You know, their time is almost up. Psalms 10 and 15. It says, Break thou the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Seek out his wickedness till thou find none, okay, until they be destroyed. Okay? Break the, the break their power, okay? Break the power of the wicked. Their rulership. Okay, all his wickedness is being seeked out, man. Okay, it just you know I'm gonna end it on this scripture here, man, Proverbs 14. And verse 32 it says the wicked is driven away in his wickedness but the righteous have hope in his death okay so we hope we hope they get destroyed man we know they're gonna be destroyed okay we just waiting for it okay but it, you know but all these all these articles that are coming out now man just goes to show man it's all been a big cover-up from from fucking a long time ago man and this system is really corrupt man this whole world is fucking corrupt, okay? Because it stems, it stems from your elites, man. Like I said, you're like the article said, that's the tip of the iceberg, man. You're just breaching, breaching the fence, man. There's so much more fucking going on around here, man, that you're not even aware of, man. Okay, that's what Jimmy was doing is fucking minor compared to what's going really going on out here, man. Okay, he was just one guy. One lower guy in comparison to those that are running that ring, man. Okay, and that involves your queens, your kings, okay, your your bankers, okay, all them guys, man. It involves all of them, all your witches, your fucking Freemasons, all of them, man. They're all in on it, man. But you know what? They're never gonna get to the, get in, into the silent, man, because. People who are in that ring, man, are those who are in power. So how is it going to come out? Okay, these little small fire people get, you know, their names get thrown out there and whatever. But they get persecuted for the, for their wicked wickedness. Okay, but hey, everything's been run by by these guys, man. So you know, read really in their own system, they're untouchable. But no, it goes on, man. Don't look at these guys, these people like, you know, they're, they're, they, you know, they should have respect, man. Because these guys are nothing but fucking demons, man. You just don't know about it. No one put the beans on them yet. You know, because if we weren't for this, man, like, you know, brokers on the highways and barriers, there was a newspaper article that I brought out, man. Well, not an article, but it was the front of a paper. And it, and it said that on the front, uh, this is England. This is our England or some shit and that. Okay? If if the story of Jimmy never came out, man, he would have been on that fucking paper, man. 